so hi uh, good morning to everyone uh, yeah here with another video on recent developments in the utility of p53 gene so in the first video of our video lecture of nerdy scientists uh, we discussed about the p53 gene and its uh, use in cancer therapy and now i'm coming up with few uh, recent studies which discussed about the importance of p53 gene in cancer therapy so let's start off and see what are those interesting research studies the latest ones the first one p53 mutations in 10000 cancer patients shed new light on genes function so one of the most extensively studied genes in cancer is the p53 very well known as tp53 and uh, for its role as tumor suppressor we we know that we have discussed it in uh, initially so researchers have conducted many com uh, complicated and comprehensive studies on these p53 mutations to better understand the processes leading to the inactivation of this important gene which actually is helping in preventing cancer how come it's actually getting reversed to cause cancer so their findings shed light on how the gene becomes mutated and how those mutations can help predict clinical outlook so the team led by dr larry don hauer the professor of molecular virology and microbiology at bayer college of medicine studied 10225 patient samples from 32 different cancer types of cancers from the cancer genome atlas and compared them to another 80000 mutations in a database collected over 3 decades by dr thiri sauzi professor of molecular uh, biology at sorbonne university just see the dedication guys just see how complicated this work is how many years it will take to create one study like this how many samples they actually are evaluating that's how things and revelations new findings come up it takes time but when it comes up it really is worthful so after analyzing this large data sample they have more thorough understanding of how the tp53 gene mutation impacts cancer the team found that across all cancer types studied this tp53 mutations were more frequent in patients with poorer survival rates but they also indicate you know identified a way to more accurately predict prognosis so before treatment the pre treatment time they can actually detect when this tp53 mutation can happen so once we can we, we can we achieve or we are successful in detecting beforehand about tp53 gene then it will be very very helpful to prevent uh, the reversal Uh, action of this uh, p53 gene which is very much crucial to prevent cancer so however said uh, you know this don hauer who is a very very well known scientist he identified four up regulated genes in mutant tumors whose expression correlated to patient outcome so there's lot more uh, on this paper but you can come up with the abstract of it you could actually understood Uh, to to make you understand the scientific ideology behind it so for more information go to the uh, google and go to google search with the same title we actually kept it here and so that you can actually get to know more about this paper and this is very very crucial guys p53 mutations if you could actually stop them initially during the prognosis stage then we can actually prevent its reversal and it's very very important Uh, you know revelation which has actually been done by dr larry don hover thanks to him and his group to actually uh, find out these kind of uh, analysis and revelations so very very um, inspiring for all the upcoming scientists the cancer researchers who are working on various studies uh, in um, coming out with some uh, new innovations the next one So, what is the role uh, P53 can play in kidney cancer? Previously, there are various things which actually happened in kidney cancers, but now what are the recent revelations we can actually bring out 
uh, for P53 using P53. So the well-known cancer gene P53, which researchers have thought was very less prevalent uh, in kidney cancer initially, now plays a very important role. After all, a discovery that could potentially lead to new treatments. So a study conducted by researchers at Thomas Jefferson University suggests that the second most mutated gene in kidney cancer, PBRM1, is strongly linked to inactivation of the P53 pathway. So this PBRM1, which is the second most frequently mutated gene, is strongly linked to the inactivation of the P53 pathway. Since PBRM1 is also found in many other cell types and cancers, the finding may have implications for other types of cancers as well. So very, 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 very crucial subject to be discussed extensively so that we understand more about it. Go through the journal Nature Communications and find it out by ourselves. So this, the Professor Yang and his colleagues in the group probed genes that are known to be involved with kidney cancer for interaction with P53. So how this interaction happens between P53 and kidney cancer? This was, this was actually analyzed by Mr. Yang, Dr. Yang and his group. The second most mutated gene in kidney cancer is the tumor suppressor PBRM1 and research has previously suggested that this gene may interact with P53. However, so far, so far researchers have been unable to confirm whether this is an important mechanism in kidney cancer or not. So there are a lot more questions added. Some answers have also been added. So, see research is something like this, it continues, uh, it, it, there is no stop. Some questions get answered during the study and new questions come up. So how important it is. So the importance actually plays a major role when you actually uh, uh, try to produce a new cancer therapy or methodology. So it's very very important that you try to answer all your doubts, all the questions which come up among the researchers when, you, when your study is being um, evaluated or analyzed so one of the important revelation please go through the paper the complete paper just type the title uh, in the google search you could actually go through the complete paper and analyze by yourself and do comment in the youtube video below your all uh, revelations what you actually have your questions after reading the complete paper the next one this is a news article where they discussed about the research into tumor suppressor P53 in ovarian cancer. It received around $1.8 million from NIH grant. So, it's a five-year grant uh, uh, from a research team at David Jeffen School of Medicine at UCLA received and to develop new therapeutic and preventive strategies for ovarian cancer based on the tumor suppressor P53. The team led by Alice, uh, Dr. Alice, will focus on the role of P53 in cancer onset and progression. It will also investigate the preventive effects of REAC P53 on a derivative, a mutative gene, a P53 reactivating molecule. It's a reactivating molecule of P53. It's known as REAC P53. So uh, this is no, this is showing promise in fighting ovarian cancer in preclinical studies. So P53 is a natural tumor suppressor that cells use to prevent uncontrolled growth. You know that. It arrests cell growth, promotes either DNA repair or cell death. We already discussed about this in the initial video, the first video of uh, Nerdy Scientists. So it also plays an important role in regulating several aspects of anti-tumor immune responses. So very, very crucial guys. Do follow this article. Mutations in TP53, the gene that contains the in instructions to provide P53 protein, block P53 anti-tumor function, leaving cells more susceptible to uncontrolled growth. A fraction of these uh, mutations result in a protein with an abnormal structure. I am repeating it. These mutations are resulting in a protein with an abnormal structure, which is another revelation, which promotes the formation of P53 aggregates, resulting in finally inactivation of P53 gene. So the, TP53, the P53 is the most frequently mutated gene in human cancers, estimated to occur over 50% of all tumors and mutations in this gene are usually associated with cancer resistance to therapy and poor clinical outcomes. 
Currently, there are no approved therapies to restore P53 function and that's the reason why we actually uh, see this news of uh, five year grant sanction around for 1.8 million US dollars. So it's very, very important that cancer researchers work on this P53 gene so that this kind of inactivation to prevent this inactivation of P53 gene uh, to actually produce an effective action to prevent cancer cells or decimate tumor cells in our body. P53 gene is the hero guys and also a villain if it gets reversed. So this hero needs to be protected. It needs to be very much protected so that it can actually help us uh, or uh, to be to act as a guardian uh, to protect the cancer to, to protect ourselves from cancer. So it's very very important and crucial that this grant is sanctioned and researchers come up with interesting and new novel ideas and strategies and methodologies to actually prevent the inactivation of P53. So what are the four genes which could actually uh, help predict the outcome in cancer? Extensive research as again repeats P53 gene offers a very greater understanding very much a very beautiful understanding of genetic mutations that are at play in various forms of cancers as well as identifying four genes that may help predict a person's outlook his own analysis his or her own analysis the P53 gene is responsible for encoding what scientists call tumor protein P53 so it's, it's, it's very much important that we understand that TP53 TP53 gene is a mutated gene or P53. So it's responsible for encoding what scientists call P53 as a tumor protein. It's a very important question. Why are you calling P53 protein as tumor protein? If it is actually helping in protecting us from cancer because it is getting mutated and it is getting converted into TP53 gene. That's the reason why we are calling it as tumor protein. So a tumor suppressor that can stop cells from dividing and proliferating too fast. So the researchers have dubbed TP53 as the guardian of the genome because of its crucial role in preventing tumors and keeping cellular division in check. It maintains everything in cell cycle progression of a human or a mammalian cell cycle to take that in for that uh, to take into the consideration. Uh, the mammalian cell cycle is actually controlled by P53 gene. It is the main control. And if go if that goes down, if that gets mutated, the complete control goes into the hands of tumor cells. And that's how uh, the, the change happens. And it's very, very important that all these problems be discussed and taken into consideration, taking, taking it seriously. We need to go forward and produce new methodologies and prevent these actions from occurring. So human cancers frequently feature mutations in TB53 gene causing one of the critical defensive mechanism against cancer to fail. Now the largest study of its kind uses tumor samples from over 10,000 cancer patients and looks at 32 different types of cancers to better understand the role of TB53. See, how how much work is going on again dr larry don Hower, he is the man at present who is actually dedicating his whole life in trying to prevent the action of tpp tp53 and convert it back to the normal p53 gene so it's very much important that we actually go through these studies at least as our gratitude for these kind of great professors you know great scientists as we have more time now without wasting time go forward read the paper try to analyze and come up with your own conclusions so that it's uh, so that you may get more new ideas through those discussions and arguments what whatever it may be so it's very very crucial for ourselves to pay some gratitude towards these great scientists who are dedicating their lives to actually uh, help us from getting affected with the dangerous disease of the world that is cancer. So 
by this we come to an end of this video i hope you loved the video i hope you enjoyed you got to learn something out of it so be safe be healthy please follow the regulations uh, given by our government do follow the lockdown uh, do support your parents grandparents do share knowledge it's very important and if you love the video do follow our youtube channel do follow our new nerdy scientist insta page to get more updates on uh, science cancer research covid-19 infection and many more so thank you i'll see you back again in the next video uh, so stay tuned bye